Let us now proceed and check out the continuous statements in Java. Hi, this is Shreng Siddharth. And in this module, we were exploring the iterators in Java, for loop, while loop and do while loop. And in the previous video, we just checked out what is a break statement in Java. So let us proceed and check out the continuous statements. So first of all, why do we use the continuous statements in Java? Now the continuous statements in Java is actually used to skip some code within the loop at a specified time and condition. So how do we use it? So here on the left hand side, we have a loop example without the usage of the continuous statement. Now suppose if I ask you inside the loop print all the values till integer 4 except 2. So except 2 print all the values such as 0, 1, 3 and 4, not 2. So for that, suppose if I have this loop, a very simple loop that prints the value 0 to 4, that is less than 5. So in the output console, we get 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 4 at last, right? But this is not the desired output. We don't want this 2 to be printed in the output console. So for that, we have to skip this statement when i is equal to 2. Now, if we use the break statement, then it will simply break out of the loop and it is not going to print further, that is 3 and 4. But we just want to skip the integer 2. So for that, let us use the loops with continuous statements. So here is what the continuous statements comes into picture. Now the same program can be written as, let's say, if i is equal to equal to 2, then simply continue. And then here, this is the print statement. Now, what happens is that when the value of the counter variable becomes 2, then we use the continue statement. Now, this continue statement will simply skip all the code right after the continue statement. So, this part that is the print statement won't be executed and the integer variable 2 won't be printed inside the output console. So in the output, we will get 0, 1, 3 and 4. So here 2 is missing. And now compared to the break statement, the continuous statement only skips one loop at a particular point of the iteration. And now let us check out the code inside the IntelliJ IDE. So here I have again the same code that you saw as a snippet inside the slide. So here this code simply prints the value from 0 to 4. Let us run the code. So here we get 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now if I don't want to print 2 here, so here what I will do, right above the print statement, I will simply put if clause with the continue statement. If the counter variable i is 2, then simply skip all the code right after this continue part. That is simply skip this print statement. And now let us run our code. So here we go 0, 1, 3 and 4. We don't get 2 as the output. Fine. And similar to the break statements, the continue statement can also be used with the while loop and do while loop. So take it as an assignment again. Try to mimic this code with the help of while loop and do while loop. Please try it out. And now let us now proceed and check out the labeled for loop that we saw in the previous video in case of continuous statement. So here again I have simply written the nested for loop that is the for loop within the for loop. So this is the output that we are getting right now 1 1 1 2 1 3 2 1 and so on that we saw in the previous video as well. So what I am going to do is now, I don't want to print 2 and 2 right here. So for that, what I will do, right above this print statement, I will simply add the continue statement. So if i is 2 and j is 2, then simply skip the code. That is, don't print 2 and 2. So let us now run our code. So here we go, in the output console, we get 1 1 1 2 1 3 2 1 and here 2 2 is missing. Fine, we get 2 1 and right after this we get 2 3. So this is how we can skip a part inside the iteration process. So what about the labeled for loop? So this continuous statement similar to the break statement by default simply skips the inner loop part. 
that is the loop within which it is present. So we are here simply skipping the inner loop iteration. But what we have to do if we want to skip the iteration process in the outer loop as well. So for that we have to make use of labeled for loop. Fine. So here we have to give this outer for loop a label such as let's say my label colon followed by space and let us indent the inner for loop by tabs. So here we have to tell this continue statement that you have to skip the iteration for the outer loop not the inner loop which is by default. So here continue space followed by my label. So now let us run our code. So inside the console we have some weird output 1 1 1 2 1 3 2 1 and straight away 3 1. So what it has done is that after i is 2 and j is 2 it has simply skipped both the iteration that belongs to the outer loop that is don't print 2 2 and don't print 2 3 and straight away start the third iteration process that is 3 1 3 2 and 3 3. So this is all about the continuous statements in Java. And hopefully please join me in the next module. And meanwhile if you like what you saw please subscribe to this channel. This is Shrek from Smarthead signing off. And please do like and comment on this video. Thank you and have a nice day.